Hi everybody, Jeff and Jaron Thompson here. Welcome to Stability and Simplicity, We Are Kingdom. We're going to be discussing defying the odds. Romans chapter 4 verses 18 through 20 tells us, Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God had said to him, that's how many descendants you will have. Abraham never wavered in believing God in believing God's promises. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and in this he brought glory to God. Amen. Regardless of the odds, regardless of what tradition tells us, we want to we want everybody to know that regardless of circumstance, regardless of what comes against you, regardless of what attack our enemy may throw at you the power of god within you is stronger amen when we get to a place where people say well you know at our age or well you know i was in a situation like that once it didn't turn out well well it didn't turn out well for you kingdom of god is alive and well in me it's amen. alive and well in you and whatever we face whatever comes against us mm -hmm. it's already taken care of because of the cross and so the power within us is already there well how do we do that well how do we beat those odds we believe we trust mm -hmm. we stand on God's mm -hmm. word and how often and how many times do we say your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven but then we don't choose to live that supernatural lifestyle we just live the natural lifestyle yeah. because it's what's in front of us mm -hmm. eventually the kingdom of God and the kingdom of earth where we reign One's got to overtake. I mean, we are citizens of two kingdoms, but yeah. which one are we going to choose to dwell in? I, we choose to dwell in the kingdom of God. Amen. And, you know, it's real easy for, for us sitting on this side of the lens to say, you know, it doesn't matter what problems you're facing. You know, you've got it because Jesus loves you. And that's a lot of truth. But when the Lord says, okay, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, Lord, I'm an encourager. I'm, yes. not a, I'm not an actual doer of these things, which goes back to that, that old adage, those who can do, those who can't teach. <laughs> so, <Top. laughs> but but it, there is a lot to that because I, I've known some teachers and I've known some people who taught in the horse world who w I thought they were seasoned competitors and when they, they go to a competition, a state, the statements are made, wow, it's a lot different when you actually do it. Excuse me? <laughs> you got people paying you for an opinion? <laughs> and, but, but at the same time, we have God's word. We have God's word that, that is constantly encouraging mm -hmm. us. We have the DNA of God through Jesus Christ. Yeah. And we can, we, can beat, we can beat whatever the world is telling us is normal. And... We don't have to settle for restrictions. We don't have to settle for tradition. Or and, barely making it. Right, right. Because, how do I say it? It's not all about wealth and riches, per se, but yet all of our needs are met, plus extra. And if we have a vision in our heart, and people are saying, mm, nah, you're... You're not going to do that. You're either from the wrong side of the tracks. You're too old. You're too young. You're not educated enough. And, and just a myriad of reasons. What does the word say? Mm -hmm. What did God say? And that, that's the final authority. But it's wealth and riches and the fruit of the spirit, which is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. It's wealth and riches in those things where they're abundant in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I hope I don't butcher his name here, but British journalist Walter Bagahot or Bagehot, forgive me if I'm, whichever one is wrong, he once made the statement, the greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you can't do. And a lot of us who have grown up having to fight, having mm -hmm. to scrape, having to scratch and claw. God never meant for it to be that way. But he's going to let us do that till we just till we get to a place where we say, you know what, there's got to be an easy way. Lord, what is it? Mm -hmm. Lord says, have a seat. I'm going to instruct you how. And I also like what uh, American author Orson Sweat Martin, 
and you know, I've got some tough names here <laughs> that I'm quoting after. Uh, he made the statement, success is not measured by what you accomplish, but by the opposition you have encountered and the courage with which you have maintained the struggle against overwhelming odds. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, is the Spirit of the Lord dwelling within you? Has God made our way? Yes, he has. Mm -hmm. And there's no, there's no not facing the odds that are going to come against us. But has God not said? Yeah. What better time than right now while parts of the world are still in lockdown, while parts of the world are still in such turmoil, and, and here in the States it's no different, uh, restrictions and things, and, and, and money and just joblessness and, and things like that, and prices going up. For, what? It, for it seems like one and one no longer equals two. Right. And because they're telling you they don't. Yeah. But, but what better time than right now for God to show off on behalf of his own and to show the world, you know what? I'm still in control. I'm still God. I'm still Lord. I'm still King. Amen. And we are encouraging everybody in this. Are we trying to pump you up? Yes, we are. And we have to do that to ourselves on a daily basis because the light is shining brighter as the world gets darker. Mm -hmm. We are that remnant. Yes. We are the chosen, if you will. Well, what makes us any different and what makes us special? We said yes to God. And the Lord will reward. And we're going to, we are coming into a place where we're going to watch the Spirit of the Lord move throughout this, mm -hmm. with, throughout this earth. And He's going to show off. And people are going to come into the kingdom and come Amen. into the eternity with the Father. Amen. Anything else, my love? Just to encourage you also of if you feel like you're not to that point yet where you're, where you're all in, where you feel like you can defy the odds. It comes from confessing the word of God, from knowing his word. And there comes a point in the time where you no longer confess the word of God knowing that it's true, but you confess it because it is true to you. It, mm -hmm. it goes from becoming head knowledge to, to just coming up from the belly of your, of your soul, just that spirit inside mm -hmm. you. Right. And all of a sudden you're just like, wait a minute. I don't just believe this. I actually know it's true. It's not just, you know, God can. It's God does. Yeah, because God did. Amen. And Jesus said, out of your belly will flow wells of living, living water. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, that's what we're getting to experience. Those, those who keep saying, well, it's coming, it's coming. No, folks, it's here. Okie dokie. It, it has arrived. If we keep bumping it off and say, well, the Lord's going to do this or boy, this, this next great move. We're putting the responsibility back on God. And the Lord is saying, I want to put the responsibility on you to bring in my kingdom. If you want to walk in the power of heaven, receive the power of heaven. Mm -hmm. In other words, believe it. Believe it. it the battle is right here mm -hmm. between our ears. Yeah. And believe what the word of God says. And, it, and it's really, it is literally that simple. If God said it, then it is. If Jesus did it, I can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. And we get to live in that. Is it easy? Not hardly. Because it does take dedication. It does take surrendering everything. Mm -hmm. And can I explain when it doesn't work? No, but it doesn't change the fact of what's truth and what's real in that God said it, mm -hmm. therefore it is. Yeah. I don't have to explain it. That's not my job. Yeah. Psalm 112 tells us, we delight ourselves in the Lord. Our righteousness, our righteousness because of him will endure forever. Yes. We love to quote verse three where it's, or verse five, whichever one it is, you know, wealth and riches are in his house. Those who delight themselves in the Lord. But the main gist of that Psalm is our righteousness endures forever because of our God. Yes. And that is to find everything mm -hmm. and beating everything the world says. Mm -hmm. I would rather be known in my life, wow, she stood for the word of God. She stood for everything. And in those times it didn't work, she still stood. Yeah. You know, didn't work. But it, it 
doesn't change the fact of God is God, His word mm -hmm. is true, and that's what we choose to align our lives with. Yeah, and I've heard many a teacher and preacher speak about, well, I, and, and it says, you know, in, in Hebrews 11, that Abraham didn't, didn't get to see his promise manifest of, of our opening scripture of his descendants being as the sand of the sea, but Abraham got to see it in the spirit. He got to see it afar off. He got to see it afar off. Yeah. And whether we actually put our hands on it is, is really immaterial because two, two things as far as your dream, your vision, one is, is a famous one. If it doesn't scare you to death, then it's not big enough. Number two, if it's not generational, you're thinking way too small. Mm -hmm. So think about those that come behind you. Train them up. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what the world says. doesn't matter what tradition says. doesn't matter what family says. doesn't matter what mom and daddy taught us. God's word spoken back into the atmosphere will have an effect. Amen. It will change Amen. things. Amen. So anyway, we'd like to thank you again for joining us today. It is always a pleasure and an honor. Please like us on Facebook. Thank you for giving us the old thumbs up on our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or, or anything like that, please feel free to email us at jeffandjaronatoutlook.com. And know that you are loved and you yes. are blessed. Yes. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And may you prosper beyond your wildest imagination. Yes. In Jesus' name, we are kingdom. Thank you.